Hello, friends. Now let's solve the similar string groups problem. Let's first see the statement.、Uh, we are given two strings x and y. They are similar. If we can swap two letters in different positions of x, so that it、e、equals y.、Um, see an example. We can swap the position zero and the two letters,、uh, which means we swap this t and r. Then we can get these rents. So we say that they are similar. When we say a and b are similar, we means b and a are also similar. But they do not.、Uh, if we see, uh, see, um, okay, then together this forms two connected groups by simil similarity: tars, rents, arts. A、uh, noted tars and the、uh, arts are in the same group, even though they are not similar. So that means, um,、uh, every two strings in one group not necessary to be similar. It only, at least, be similar to one of the other strings in this group. That is enough. So how do you think about this question? Hmm. First, we need to connect all the similar, uh, similar strings. But they, but, hmm.、Uh, so, uh, you may think of, uh, about the connecting components in the graph. Yes, this problem is、uh, similar to the connected components. It's、uh, like the. Undirected graph.、Mm, you see, the tars is connected to the rents, and rents is connected to arts. So these three strings belongs to one connected component. So our algorithm will be: we first build a graph by the similarity. We will iterate this string and、uh, try to connect、uh, every. Two similar strings,、mm, and then we do a depth first search to count the kinetic components. But sure, we can also use unified. And、uh, in this question, if we use unified, that will be much faster. But I think a、uh, depth first search is uh, uh, more straightforward. So I will write uh, uh, DFS in this question. Okay. So,、uh, let's first build the graph. So the first problem is how do we represent this graph?、Uh, I will usually use a map because the time complexity、uh, is great in some degree.、Um, we can faster get.、Uh, A node, and then add the、uh, connected nodes. So I will first、uh, use a map. The key will be the string, and the value will be a set. That will be、uh, that means the node set are、um, connected to that、uh, string, which is, means they are similar. Similar. So that will be hash map, and then we will call a function named the build graph. We will pass a and this graph. So let's first write this build graph. There will be build,、uh, okay, build graph, build graph. That will be a string a, and there will be map string set string g. So we will. Um. Okay, we first iterate this string s, and、uh, there will be a. We will put、uh, s and the new hash set. Okay. Then we will add the h if they are similar. So we will first first get the n. That means the length of this array. The four into i equal to. Zero i less than a、uh, minus one i plus plus and then four into j equal to、uh, i plus one. 
j less than n j plus plus. We are called not function. We check whether they are similar. Similar. If a i and a j is similar, right? If they are similar, we will you get a i add a j, which means they are similar. Mm, it's like undirected graph. So if a is similar to b, that means b is similar to a. So we will uh, add them both. So now let's implement this is similar. Is sim is similar. There will be string A, string B. Okay. So how to check whether they are similar? You see that every string in the A is an anagram. So we do not need to check the count of the letters in the string because they should be the same. So we we'll first get the length. There will be a dot length. Actually, we just need to count the different positions. If the once they are greater than two, we just return false. So we int i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus. If a char at i is not equal to b char at i, we differ plus plus. And once if the differ is greater than two, we return false. So at last, we just return true. But if they are the same, if a equals to b, we just return true. Um, this is for the time saving. If the two strings are a, 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 we do not need to. Um, but basically, we can just do that. OK, we can just iterate them once. Mm, and now we have built a graph. Then we will need to count the kinetic components. That will be count first equal to zero. And we will uh, iterate the graph G key set. Mm, uh, we will also need a visited set. Uh, the usage. Uh, because we need to mark whether we have visited them before. Once we meet a new connect component, we need to mark all the nodes in this connect component to be visited. So if visited already contains the current key, we just continue. Else, we will do a DFS, and uh, that's the size plus plus. Finally, we just return this size. So we just we now need to write the DFS. Uh, we will parse the yeah. We will parse the visited. We also need the current string, and uh, we also need uh, this graph. Uh, set string that would be graph. So first we will add uh, visited add the current string. And if g get the current string size equal to zero, which means it done connected to other components, um, we just return. Then we will get its neighbors. That will g get cur. So if it visited, if visited contains that string, we also Continue. Then we just uh, keep a mark uh, that uh, string next and the G. So we fill this part that will be visited. That will be Curry's key and the, uh, that will be map. Uh, we can also uh, optimize one part for some test. Uh, test cases. Um, if we build a graph, if g size equal to one, we just return one. That is for the test case a a a a a like that. We just return one. Um. 
Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.